guys, Zuldin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Last time we left off, we sailed to a, uh, a new island and got a little farm going. And uh, we have a quest to start, so here we go. Hey, Rosie. There we go, Zuljin. All our thirsty little seeds have had a nice big drink now. That's all there is to it. You just till the soil, plant some seeds, water them, and wait. It's easier said than done, though. For one thing, you need healthy soil and there's hardly any left on this island. It's easy to tell if soil is spoiled, it goes all purple and sticky, sometimes it looks green if there were moss growing on top of it, but when you dig down you find nothing but grimy slime. The only soil that's any good for gardening has a nice earthy brown color. Just take a look at some of the soil I tilled before and compare it to the moldy mud nearby. Alright, well that's, it's, it's easy to see, you know. Alright Zuljin. There's only one thing left to do before we can harvest our crops. Wait. Wait. Wait for them to grow, okay? Easier said than done, I suppose. First, we'll get some little sprouts. Then a little later, they'll start growing leaves. Before you know it, they'll be all grown up. When that time comes, you won't need any special equipment to harvest them. Just hit them with that cypress stick. I've seen you swinging about. Hmm. It might be a little while before they're ready to be harvested, though. In the meantime, you can pass the time by clearing away the rocks and weeds in our future fields, and you could plant some more seeds too. Speaking of which, here's a few more I had hidden away. You may as well go ahead and plant them. All right, we're gonna do that right here. So let's see, plant. And once you've sown your seeds, you'll be able to sometime. There'll be some time before it fully grows into crops or ready to harvest. I don't know what's wrong with my reading today. In the meantime, why not make the farm a little prettier, okay? Uh, well first let's plant all this stuff. Okay, look at the sprouts. We already got some little sprouts, man. And that was all the seeds. Okay, so we'll get loyalty points from her here and there. I don't exactly know what we could use them for, but let's take a look around here. So there's, there is a little bit of junk, man. A little bit of junk. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and fix that up here. Get all of that mess out of the way and harvest the resources for it and get it all cleared up. And I guess we just have to wait until uh, a little bit of time passes before we're ready to go. And it's going to be night here pretty soon. Also, it looks like we can build a room right here. Some of this is dirt. I'll tell you what. Let's take a little bit of wood here. And we'll use our willy-nilly little... Uh, our deal here. Oh, we could cook food too. Okay, so let's do a. We got a campfire already. We can't really build wood blocks, can we? No, not really. We'll pr probably just have to use dirt and stuff until all this is done. But uh, that's no reason why we shouldn't just get after it. We got all of these blocks. We might as well use them. All right, and let's go ahead and place these too. So, oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Because we got weeds in here, man. Yep. I wonder if it takes those uh, dark colored blocks and fixes them up here. Okay. It's going to be dark here really soon as well. And one more. And it made the room. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> It, it totally just annihilated that plan for me. There we go. We got the room now. Um, let's open the door. We will grab a little bit of stuff to make a bed. And we need a light, too. I'll tell you what. Let's take this fire here. We'll take the fire. We can always make more fires, too. But we'll put this inside. Let's go ahead and put the fire right here, and we'll make some straw beds. And let's see, we still know the recipe for beds, so we'll make, uh, it, it re required three? Oh, for gra- I see, we can make up to three. There we go, I don't know if we'll have enough room if the other guys want to sleep there they just inhabit here or what's going on but I'll, I'll kind of set it up just like I did before here yeah we made a bedroom <laughs> placing certain combinations of furniture or items inside a room can give it a special new name and the residents here will interact with it differently nice yeah everybody wants to sleep now oh my 
goodness. We got loyalty points. Okay, can we just sleep now? We can. Perfect. That will pass the time. I wonder if we're going to have plants in the morning. That would be cool. More loyalty points. Everybody's waking up. We probably need to place a few more beds, too. <gasps> Look at this. Cabbage. Harvest this now. We got it, babe. We got it. Oh, and they're just going to keep on growing. Nice. Let's get that out of the way. And let's talk to her now. Wow, we finally grown our first furrow field cabbages and they're absolute beauties. It's been so long since we've had a proper crop and with all those horrid spoil spores appearing all the time and ruining the soil. In fact, I've never been I've never seen a better cabbage in all my life. Thank you so much, Zoltan. Blimey! These cabbages girt lush. Uh, did you and Rosie really grow them all by yourselves? Maybe you really are a builder after all. All the more reason why we should shun his accursed presence. Come along now, Perry. We're leaving. Oh, my God. They'll learn sooner or later that we're not a bad guy. Why is Beardy God is such a grudge against builders? If anything is accursed, it's the dead dog of his chin. Oh, wow. I wouldn't say it's a grudge, really. He's just being cautious. After all, everybody knows that builders spread desolation and despair wherever they go. Um, Desolation and Despair was already here when we showed up, thanks. Don't worry, Zul'jin. I don't think builders are harbingers of doom and gloom. In fact, I think they're great. Bonanzo spent his whole life being told how awful people like you are. We all have. You can't expect him to change his mind overnight. Oh, by the way, something occurred to me while we were waiting for the cabbages to come in. Do you see the big bell there? Well, there's an old story about it. Once upon a time, a builder came to Furrowfield. He showed the people with wonder of building to earn their awe and appreciation. Then he whacked that bell with all his might. When the islanders heard it ring out aloud clear, something awoke within them. They were filled with the power of creation and Furrowfield form flourished. Don't you see, Zul'jin? The funny things you've been picking up must be pieces of our appreciation, which means something might happen when you ring that bell. Well, there's only one way to know for sure. Go over with that uh, bell, builder's bell and give it a great big wallop. Okay. Now you can raise your base's level. Okay. And that's how you do that, I guess. <laughs> oh, snap. All right. What? Base level two. Oh, base level one. <laughs> we were base level zero, I guess. The residents awaken to the benefits of building. The residents want to fill the till the fields. The residents want to water crops. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, write it down, baby. Yes. Yes. Soldier learns a load of new recipes. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Uh, floorboards, softwood, wooden steps, simple doors, rustic doors, haystacks, simple small tables, simple tables, simple stools, pots, community chest. Oh, thank goodness. And that's not the, the, the card stack in, uh, in Monopoly, by the way. Rope, firewood, and farming tools. Nice. I don't know what you just did, but it was pretty spectacular. It's like the whole place has been filled with some sort of strange power. Marauding? <laughs> Molluscles? Builder? What have you done? What is this energy flowing through me? My old body's been filled with a yearning to create. I've got this uncontrollable urge to go and till a field. <laughs> I hope this would happen. All the power you collected was unleashed when you rang that bell and it opened their eyes to the wonder of building. It looks like it even inspired you. So now you can build simple stools, simple small tables, and chests. Is that so? We could certainly use some furniture around here. You can make all that, can you? The builders really are amazing. All right, Zul'jin. We're all very impressed. You can stop posing now. <laughs> I like it, but I'm going to use that for my thumbnails, man. From now on, you will have full cooperation from Perry and I. Let us rebuild the great farm and restore this place to its former glory. That's what I'm talking about. We shall tend to the fields from the moment we wake up in the morning to the moment we fall asleep at night. No crop shall remain unwatered on my watch. That's fantastic, isn't it, Zul'jin? Now we can all work together and the Furrowfield Farm is reborn. 
Bam! Residents will behave differently depending on what time of day and the type of room they're in. They're entitled to lives outside the farm work, you know? Okay, wonderful. That's even better than I imagined. Who would have thought that those two would ever get so fired up about building? It seems that whatever you build things for us, or when we manage to make things ourselves, our emotions overflow and turn into these funny little fragments that only you could see. And then, when you collect enough of that emotional energy and pour it into ringing the bell, everyone becomes better at building, including you. If I'm right about this, and I'm sure I am, those overflowing emotions are the key to getting Furrowfield Farm on its feet. Collect as many as you can and make us all the best builders we can be. Well, that sounds so that gum wholesome and cute. I love it. All right. Okay, now that Bonanzo and Perry are finally in the mood to help, we can take Operation Furrowfield Farm to the next level. Right, problem is, farm needs soil and seeds, and it looks like you're fresh out of both. Well, um... Any ideas, Sultan? Ha! Huh. For a mob who hates builders, you lot certainly seem to be lost without one. What's the story there, anyway? What's so bad about builders? Come on. Let's get the root... Uh, let's get to the root of this. Of course, the root. Well, I'm supposed more of a bulb. Really, whatever it is. It certainly isn't the cabbage. That can be the next thing we grow. Here you go, Zuldan. Ooh, uh, obtains a light bulb. All right. I always suspected it might be special, so I kept it hidden away this whole time. Huh? Hey, Zuldan, get a load of that. Ooh. The platform is glowing. Must be because you're a builder and you're holding the bulb. <laughs> All that just... That's... <laughs> People just figuring stuff out on us, y'all. Go on, Zuljin. Plant the light bulb in the light and let's see what happens. Well, if you insist. You insist. Gently presses the light bulb into the soft soil. It's Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. <laughs> <laughs> Could this be the tree of life? Oh, fiddlesticks, we've gone and done it this time. The master of destruction is sure to strike us down. The master of destruction? Who the heck's that? What? Have you never really heard the master of destruction? Does that mean that you don't know about the children of Horgon either? I see. So you weren't just playing dumb. You really don't know about the evils of building. We've been talking uh, at cross purposes this whole time. Let me explain. Everyone in Furrowfield follows the teachings of the High Priest Horgon, handed down to us by the illustrious children. On this island, building isn't only forbidden, it's a serious sin. What? Rosie, Rosie! Uh-oh. We're in a whole heap of trouble here. The pastor's on his way. He must have seen the light from the trees. Hey, Zuljin, look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We gonna fix you, sucker. What in the name of Horgon is happening here? Here we go. Oh, we just talking now. Who planted this tree? Answer me, faithless wretches. What? What? Building a farm, you say? Heresy! How dare you sully my island with the sinful stain of creation? You will pay dearly for this. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The fields and the cabbages were my idea. Don't punish Zuljin just because he's a builder. A builder? This witless looking whelp? What the? Could it really be? Could it really be what? If you know something about it, then spit it out. If I'm not mistaken, this young uh, die tree, the sacred sentinel of the Furrowfield Forest, beneath those blessings, bows this isle once flourished. Hmm. Hear me, O oh wayward vassal. I've had a change of heart. I have seen the fruits of your labors and I've decided to forgive your sins. My superiors need not know of your uh, arboreal indiscretion. I will keep your secret so long as you keep growing this tree. But should it dwindle and die, then so shall you. Wow. Grow the tree, but I really don't know how to. You need not worry on that account, my child. <laughs> Furrowfield's most ancient legends tell exactly what one must do to see a a die tree. Oh, it's it's a D tree, D tree. Grow tall and strong. 
sowing the seeds of success. I think it's like a play on deity, but it's deity. You must harvest 15 cabbages. Furrowfield was once far famed for its succulent cabbages. <laughs> I trust that you can live up to these expectations. I also love the music right here. It's so good. Should you lack sufficient seeds, I suggest you seek out more yourselves. If, if I'm not mistaken, it's the dungeon music from like Dragon Quest 2 or Dragon Quest 3. You must harvest 50 sheaves of wheat. The people of Furrowfield once enjoyed a wide range of foods, and wheat formed the cornerstone of many delicious dish. You may find the need to travel afar to find the seeds you need. Make the field bigger. Once you till 50 blocks of earth, you must till 50 blocks of earth. Furrowfield was once the farmer's paradise, with fields stretching out as far as the eye can see, and no farm can operate without plowed soil. 50 squares will suffice. If you cannot find enough clean soil, I recommend you find some means of making more. I've heard this so-called deity. I was on the mighty magical tree that it was the mighty magical tree that protected all life on Furrowfield, or so they say. If that's true, and we really can grow a new deity, then we might be able to bring light and life back to this island after all. Hold on, a creepy monster turns up out of the blue and suddenly you're going along with everything he says? What makes you think he could be trusted? Hmm, I love the spell sound there too. We have a, a live one I see. Such a spirited soul would make a fine offering to the master of destruction. Don't make a fuss, Malroth. We're not in a position to argue here. You too, Zul'jin. I can't do this without you. Please say that you'll help us grow the deity and bring Furrowfield form back to life? Yes. Yippee! Thank you, Zul'jin. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hmm, a wise decision, young builder. Should you lose sight of your goal, I would bid you to speak with me once more. I don't know where we're going to find wheat seeds to plant or any more earth to till, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. For now, let's concentrate on growing the cabbages. If we all work together, we'll have these tasks done in no time. Yeah! Let the mission begin. And so it does begin. All right. So let's see here. Let's talk again. Hmm, perhaps I shall brook this tree after all. Complete these three tasks and tend to its growth or else. Mission, sowing the seeds of success. Harvest the cabbages. We only got five more to harvest. 15 cabbages, furrow field was once formed. Okay, we know that. Okay. And let's talk to you now. Perry, I've never expected the pastor to appear out of the blue like this. Scared the living daylight out of me, so it did. And on top of that, turns out to be interested in the tree that you planted. Why do you lot believe all this children of Hargon rubbish anyway? Look at your pastors. He's dressed like someone's grandmother. <laughs> oh God. Who? No grandma dresses like that. To tell you the truth, I've, been, I've never given much thought before. I've been a believer since as long as I can remember. And that's just the way it's always been. Oh, but before I forget, Zul'jin, I have... Have you tried eating one of those cabbages you've harvested? You're going to be growing a hurt bi <laughs> big pile of the things, so you may as well just uh, know they're, how delicious they are. Go on, give it a nibble, give them cabbages now. Maybe we'll turn it into coleslaw. I think I could, uh... I think I could... I think... Oh, yeah, when we eat them, we get points. I think I could deal with coleslaw if it was coleslaw, yo. Uh, you've had one of them cabbages, didn't you? Good at feeling, weren't it? Uh, they'll do a fine job of healing your wounds, too. Ain't much on this island in the way of curative, so you're going to need to eat your greens while you're here. You know, I got dragged here by Rosie. She was all hell-bent on rebuilding the farm. You see, I, I'm more worried about being found out by the children of Hargon. But I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Maybe I can even become a builder like you. Oh, he's so happy. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of building from now on, and if the children don't like it, they could get stuffed. Well, there you go, man. Who dares speak of the children of Hargon? What foul sinner defiles my divine authority? <laughs> Show yourself and face the full wrath of my righteous fury. Jim and Jerry, the pastor's got ears on him like a blooming bat. All right, so we got uh, we got his good graces here. Now for Bonanza. When Rosie led us to the Bruin farm, I had doubts about her whole plan. The last thing I expected was to meet a builder here. Still, I expect there must be some advantages to having like, like someone like you around. For instance, you can make buildings, can you not? 
Perhaps you've already noticed the large red door by the field. I would have you convert the ruined room around it into your new sleeping quarters. It's already done, homie. <laughs> I'm way ahead of schedule, bruh. The key th is to ensure that the walls are at least two blocks high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you will, uh, you'll also need a door. And of course, a large red friend is an uh, eminently suitable candidate. Oh, for the door. You can make the walls from mud if you must, but I think if we both agree softwood and floorboard blocks would be much better benefiting of the room of yours truly. Once the room itself is built, we must begin to start thinking about furniture. Two piles of straw bedding and a light source will suffice for the time being. I'm so far ahead of the game. Blistering baboons. Builder, look at this bedroom. It's better than I would imagine it would be. Now, not in need of wander uh, about in the monster infested dark of the night, we can sleep in the safety of this room and awake well rested the next morning. I already wanted to take care of that so the night would pass and we'd have our crops done. Why, with a builder on board, we need not stop at a single bedroom. We could have houses, hot food, happiness, <laughs> meandering mollusks. With all of these years I've been thinking about uh, they were beings of pure evil. How could I have been so misinformed? My lad, ever since I heard you ring that bell, I've been overcome with a desire to build. This settles it. My days of pandering to the children of Horgon are over. I shall leave those fanatics and become a builder together. We shall bring life back into Furrowfield. And the art of room building is fundamental to that. If you're going to be our build a resident builder, I suggest you hone the skills by building rooms for the rest of your fellow villagers. Now, soldier and my boy, I understand you're in need of seeds. Well, I intend to do what I can to aid you in that regard. For now, this is all I can give you. I found them in my beard when I was combing it this morning. It isn't much, but hopefully I'll have more to offer soon. I hope it's five cabbage seeds. It's three cabbage seeds. Hmm. Three cabbages, you say? All right. Ah, soldier, I trust the bounty of my beard. I refer, of course, to the seeds I gave you in aid to quest to restore Deitri. We in Fur Furfieldians <laughs> I shall do our part tolling the fields of the morning and sleeping in our fine new bedroom come nightfall recovering our strength for another day's labor will you what will you do while you wait for the cabbages to ripen might i suggest that you make a lovely bedroom you built for us just a little lovelier what it what it needs is a bit of traditional furrow fieldian decoration be a good lad and finish it off with some farming tools and you, a nice stack of firewood wouldn't you yeah i could do that i sure can do that okay so we need tools. What kind of resources do we need for that exactly? All right, so for the stack of firewood, we need, uh, uh, let's see here, three wood. So we can make that. Let's just make one. And for the farming tools, well, all we need is one as well. Okay, good. And uh, let's go ahead and just place these in here, I suppose. It's just like a standard decoration, and we'll do a stack of firewood right here by the door. Small farmer's bedroom. Holy, look at the hearts. That's more like it. The smell of the firewood, the rustic ambience of farming equipment. This is a fine idea indeed. I do say so myself. No doubt you noticed that the bedroom that you made became a farmer's bedroom. With just a few key additions, you can give a room a whole new identity. People using the unique rooms are so much happier than if they would have to live in a drab, functional cubicles. <laughs> they will simply overflow with gratitude if you take my meaning. So, Jen, this new bedroom is incredible. We're one step closer to getting the Furrowfield Farm back on its feet. Indeed, my dear. Our next priority must be to find some more healthy soil. We cannot build a farm around a few measly patches of workable dirt. I've heard tale, tale of a curious tribe that once called this island home once capable of turning spoiled salt into clean and fertile earth, but I know not what became of them. Still, we can't think more about that later. For now, you must have your reward. Another sample of my beard's bounty. That's the five that we needed, y'all. Okay, perfect. That's the five seeds, and that portion of the quest will be complete. Uh, Perry, not now, buddy. I'm busy collecting y'all y'all nuggets here. All right, so we have to plant these seeds. Um, and one more right here. Okay, 
So they're going to get all of this taken care of. And uh, uh, let's see here. Our next quest, I suppose, is just going to be waiting for that stuff to happen to let it progress. We do have the ability to... Let's just say a new. Okay. More recipes will unlock at crafting stations. Residents will, tend field, uh, will till fields faster. Residents will water crops faster. So that's what we get at the next level. And it looks like our experience is one and there's a little bit of red uh, progress bar next to it. Okay. That's interesting. And I wonder if he says anything right here. I think he just kind of tells us what our mission is. Yeah. He just kind of gives us what our, our deal is. So when we get the 15 cabbages, it'll turn over most likely. And until night, we can't really sleep the day away, I don't think. So we'll probably have to just do some building here. Yeah, I don't think time passes any faster that I know of. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Look how peaceful we're sleeping. <laughs> That's cute. We're going to call this an episode, guys, and we're going to get cracking on building some more rooms, harvesting more cabbage, and everything else next episode. I hope y'all really enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And next time, uh, we'll get some more done. I'm going to go evacuate this hurricane. I'll be back before you know it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.